Hey guys, chest and triceps, higher rep superset. We're gonna blow those bad boys up right after this. Guys, Coach P here. Welcome to another episode of Championship Muscle. I am at, follow me, Metro Flex Gym Tampa in Brandon, Florida. Try to say that sober. We are gonna do chest and triceps and we are gonna superset them with high reps. It's a, both a pushing movement and we're gonna learn how to do it the right way. So follow me over. All right, guys, we are at the flat bench press. I'm gonna do flat bench pressing to failure. I don't have any weight on the bar. I'm gonna demonstrate the right way to do the flat benching. When I'm done with the flat benching, however many reps I'm gonna bang out, it's gonna be high reps. I am immediately gonna slide my hands from the bench press position to the tricep press position for close grip benching. Remember, we're doing chest and tricep superset. Bench press for, for um, chest, close grip presses for triceps. So watch how I do this, follow me. I lay down on the bench. I get into my bench press position and I proceed with my bench pressing. And I lower the bar, get my stretch engaging my pecs and pushing forward and my target is the high rep range at least 25 reps so pick your weight wisely where you can get the high reps once i get to my high reps i'm going to stop i'm going to adjust myself on the bench now i'm on a smith machine so if you have to you can rack this slide your hands in Take the weight off the bar again and do your close grip bench presses, which I bring it in right to about the sternum. I come up and I twist my elbows inward to engage my triceps. I come down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Nice and easy. And I take this to the high rep range, as many as you possibly can. Now remember, your first set was the bench press. You did a lot of reps. Your triceps is a muscle that's engaged. That's why we're doing a chest and tricep superset. You might be kind of worn out. So you might not be able to get the high reps with the weight that you used for the bench press. So before you do this, you may want to change the weight just so much that you can handle for another set of high reps, okay? So let's rack this. I'm gonna get up and rest a minute, and then I'm gonna go back and do another round of the flat benching, and then immediately go back into the close grip bench presses. Now remember what I said, your first set, you're gonna be your strongest, and you're gonna get high reps. When you switch over to the close grip benching, you may need to adjust the weight a little bit lighter to get them high reps, because you just probably did 20 plus reps you might not be able to get all them reps out of the close, grip, uh, the close grip benching. So adjust the weight accordingly. So let's take it over to another exercise. All right, guys, next exercise, chest. We're gonna do incline presses on this machine here. Get a grip that you're comfortable with, put the right amount of weight on to get the high reps. This isn't how much weight we can do. This is getting the high reps to get the blood into the muscles. We get that skin splitting pump. You're already gonna get a pump now from your first few rounds of bench pressing and close grip bench pressing for triceps. So get in the machine, or you could do incline barbell presses, or you could do incline dumbbell presses. You pick what works for you. I'm gonna demonstrate on the chest press machine, the incline. Just get in, put the weight you can handle, press upward, squeeze your pecs, come down for the stretch, up and squeeze, up and squeeze just like this and you should be getting a good burn in your chest and in your triceps so you take this to your high rep range could be 20 reps could be 25 reps when you reach that range you move over to the next tricep exercise all right guys the next exercise i pick is seated dips on the machine you could do dips on a, on a dip rack. Where I'm at right now, they don't have a dipping rack and I really can't do you know, my body weight dips. Too, much, too, much joint, um, too many joint issues. 
So I put a weight that I'm comfortable on, on this machine, and my elbows are gonna be as close to my body as possible, and I push down, and I lock my triceps down, and I come up and push down. This is working the triceps. Nice and steady, nice and continuous. So this is your second tricep movement. And you should really start feeling the blood going into the triceps, that pump coming in. And you should feel that burn coming in. Your chest should be swollen with blood. Your triceps should be swollen with blood. And what I would do is I would take this around for at least two or three sets back and forth of supersets back and forth, just like on the bench press and the close grip bench press. Two or three rounds, two or three sets of that, and then you move on. But remember, you're your strongest in your very beginning. You're gonna get a little weaker as time progresses, so adjust the weight accordingly and always go for the repetitions. So let's go find another exercise to wrap all this up. All right, guys, we're here at the last exercise. I'm gonna do single arm chest presses. So what I'm gonna do is, my high reps with one arm, then I'm gonna immediately go into a tricep push down. And then I'm gonna switch, do my high reps with the other arm, and do a tricep push down again. But what I'm gonna to have to do is make the adjustment from this position, I'm gonna to have to go up one so I can get the full adjustment on the tricep push down. So watch how I do this. I grab the weight with tension, pulling my pec backward. And all I'm doing is pressing forward, and you're gonna feel your pecs as you're pressing. So you're squeezing. Remember, this is a pressing movement. You gotta squeeze those pecs. And once you take it into the high rep range, you get where you wanna be. We're gonna immediately switch to our superset for triceps. So I'm gonna turn, raise this up just one notch, and I'm gonna do one arm push downs keeping the tension on the tricep, squeezing the tricep and locking it out. Chest and tricep superset, both pushing movements. And then when I'm done, I drop it, go right back into the chest press. Do another couple of reps, I'm sorry, another couple of sets here. Swing it around, make the adjustment, come up, do my tricep push downs. When I've done two or three rounds of this from my left side, I then do the same thing to my right side. Hey guys, to close everything out, we went over chest and triceps, superset, high reps, both pushing movements, okay? I showed you the bare bones basics. This will help you build a good foundation. Once you get that foundation built, then you take it on to more fancier and more advanced exercises, but you can build a lot of meat on the bone doing what we just did. It's the basics. Everything starts with the basics. With that being said, I've got a buy me a coffee link in my description below. It's a donation site to help me offset the cost of video production. If you'd like to join as a member, there's different levels of memberships. If you're looking to get one-on-one -on -one attention from me, personal training for the year, you want a Zoom call, my Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding book is available for download. Bob Gruskin's seven-day dial-in, and I've been selling a lot of that lately. I've sold quite a bit this week. Bob Gruskin's seven-day dial-in for contest preparation the last seven days, which is so crucial. It's what we all followed back in the day. Also available for a download. So if you would, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Championship Muscle. Peace out. Hey.